it's the first lead I've landed in a movie and I'm, I'm really excited about it obviously because you know I've been waiting for an opportunity like this and, and I really feel like it's a great stepping stone too for hopefully what's to come. I've really been blessed with you know working with some of the cast that Tommy pulled in like Tony Todd and Michael Berryman who are just complete veterans and horror icons and and I, I'm a sponge you know I really sit back and I watch a lot and uh, and I learn from who I feel are some of the best people out there it's exactly how I did it in music you know when I played drums my whole life and then I finally decided to switch over and take the role of a singer I didn't know what I was doing and I was really bad at it but over the years I've watched people like Steven Tyler and James Hetfield from Metallica and people like that that I, I looked up to and who I thought were the greatest frontmen uh, and I kind of do the same thing with this, at least, you know, taking it to uh, is seriously enough to be able to watch the Al Pacinos and the Ed Nortons and the Robert De Niro's and the people that I really look up to. Um, so it really has been great, you know, working with, um, with some of these people and, and such an honor to, you know, to have a couple of real veteran actors on the set. I have never seen so much blood in my life and it's so funny that you know the the first film that I'm starring in is uh, is actually a film where from what I'm hearing from these special effects people that there's more blood in this than they've even ever worked with I mean there's literally a scene where like I am laying in a, a pool of blood this thick sliding through a hallway so I'm hoping audiences see uh, the film is is uh, almost a cultish kind of following film because, you know, again, I haven't seen it finished yet. I haven't seen it edited um, and that kind of thing. But if it turns out halfway to where I think he's going to go with this, I think this really has potential to have some legs and maybe, you know, have some sequels because the characters that he's developed in this, like Sludge Fist and Blade Fist and things like that, feel to me like if they're done the right way, could be... Uh, somewhat like a Hellraiser's where every sequel has new characters and new monsters evolve. I've, I've told Tom this, but I think Tommy's going to be a really great director. Um, and I'm so excited and anxious to see this work and see what he does with it. But, you know, watching some of the dailies, it seems like he's really, you know, ha has done a great job, him and Sam, who's, you know, doing the DP on this film. I, I've told him, I, I think if he stays on the right track and, and continues to do what he's doing, I, I think you're going to see some really good things out of him in the future.